Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So if you are watching, it's because you want to make the dividers out or the tray. It's either, you know, you don't have to have both for the bureau storage box that I shared earlier. So I've gone ahead and cut everything down here and I've done a few stages just because it's a lot of gluing, sticking, that kind of thing. So what I would advise you to do first is make the tray first of all and then make the dividers because when the tray sits down you want to make sure that it sits perfectly over the halfway point of the dividers and that will all come together and make sense as we work through this. I've already gone ahead I'm using the same grey board so it's the two mil that I've linked into my other video so I'll share this one as well but this piece here measures it's seven and seven eighths of an inch and that's quite key you need to get it bang on that really but I also in the same breath some some of yours might be slightly narrow. Let me bring in mine just so I can kind of explain these bits because I don't want anybody to make the tray and then find it doesn't fit. So this on mine, this exact gap from inside here to inside here, so don't take into account the width of your grey board because that will add, you know, over another quarter inch. But mine is, you know, just slightly over eight inches and I mean slightly. But it's when these kind of measurements, you know, exact, do kind of, um, you know, are necessary to get um, right. So with this, I've gone in at seven and seven eighths. And you can see there, this is the base of the tray. It's got a lot of room. But by the time you bring up both the sides and you have the paper, this is a side here that's going to actually be on the side of that. And once that one goes in there, it almost holds itself in. So you need to come in smaller considerably smaller really like I said it does really move around but you've got to add more to it and then that will create that kind of you know bulk that will allow it to kind of slide in and it's going to sit on top of that divider but you want to make sure your dividing section is just the same as this piece here the same kind of um, you know it comes out the same distance and that's why I think it's best to make the tray first of all. Okay, so hopefully that just explains a little bit there on the measurement. So seven and seven eighths of an inch, but and that is by three and three quarters. That's for the base, and I've already gone ahead and just cut a pattern piece of paper the same size and just stuck it on the top. If you would rather wrap, like we've done with lots of the, you know, the sides to the bureau, then you can do, but this is going to be on the bottom, and I'm just going to put another pattern piece, and we're going to have tabs that are going to come round on that. Then for the front and the back sides, you'll want two pieces that again are seven and seven eighths of an inch by two and three quarters. And so that's two pieces. And then you'll want two pieces of pattern paper to cover those, which are five. I've done five by 10. Yeah, it was five by 10. These are scrap pieces from other projects that I've been making. And um, you may not want to do it all separate. You may be doing it all the same print. So, but again, a lot of you, you know, will know what you're doing with all of this. Then for the side pieces, these are two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then to cover those, I've got two pieces of pattern paper, four and a half by five. Again, they're kind of scrap pieces. Once you see how it's all put together, you know, it will make sense. You actually want those to be the same. That's five. Yeah, five will probably be a bit better. Mine's just gonna be slightly shorter because it was scrap pieces. I didn't wanna cut into, you know, more stuff when I didn't really need to. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna grab, don't wanna mix, I'm gonna talk through the cross section measurements later on, okay? So I've got a piece of the pattern for the front, make sure you got it the right way up, flip it over, and you're gonna stick this right into the, the middle there, okay? Okay, so that's stuck down. Next, you wanna get two of your side pieces, and you're gonna stick them either side again with that same kind of gap that we've done for the bureau okay so I don't need to talk in too much detail with that because you would have come from that video and this will be linked into that one so I'm just popping a bit of glue just there and then I'm just gonna sit that one down there okay and then do the same with this side okay so while that's just drying I'm gonna grab the other longer piece here so this like I said that may be your front this is the back again with your paper and I'm just going to stick this one in here. Okay. 
Okay, so you would have just seen then, I've then attached this to the other side there. Don't worry about that end for the minute, we'll do that as almost like the last piece because I want to have it so that you can't see any kind of joins and things like that. I've also just gone and started to fold these pieces up, so it's all very similar things, you know, that we've done to make the bureau itself, okay? And then if you just flip it over, like so, we're now going to use our side pieces to cover. Now, I actually have made these too wide because I had another idea in my head of how I was putting it together at the time. So these pieces, actually, let me just flip this back over. They only need to cover this actual section. So I'm going to have mine, um, let's do, so three and three quarters by, it would be five. Okay, so I'll, I'll change that measurement to three and three quarters and... Um, yeah, I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit short because, again, everyone's is going to be slightly different, but it's just it's about three and three quarters. And then, in fact, no, I can keep it this way. Probably easier this way. And then what's going to happen is that's going to stick over there. Imagine yours will be five. Mine's just obviously coming down shorter. But what you will probably find easier to do, now that's started to dry, is I'm going to bring up the sides here, just kind of burnish the paper there where that fold is okay like so and then you can flip it over and if you're working with directional paper just make sure it's the right way but I can see my creases now so I want to stick that in between like so and just make sure you've got equal overhang so I can see it comes down the same there so for this I'm going to add glue all down the side and then all in the middle and I've just done this style throughout the bureau. I've just done different pattern paper. So, um, uh, you know, you can, like I said, by all means do it the same all over. Um, I just quite like having that, um, yeah, just different, different patterns on different sides of, you know, the box and the trays and the dividers and stuff, which you'll see in a moment. So I'm just rubbing off that glue there. Again, just, just fold up the sides. Okay, so you can see now what we're getting here. So I'm going to add glue all along here, right along that side in a bit there as well, all the way up to that piece. So just don't go right off the edge yet. Okay, so that's all stuck down, completely stuck there, but you'll see this is still open there just that little bit because you need that to be able to stick this end here sorry there that's all stuck as well you couldn't see that then but that's going to just slot in under there okay so that's all stuck down i just went to do that which is what i done before on the bureau and don't do that because these are our hinges to stick our base onto so anyway so you would have had the top done there next we want to bring this around okay and you're going to add some glue into this piece here so and on that side, just going to splodge it all in there. Okay, and then that is going to slot inside. Okay. And just get it right in there. Make sure everything's nice and straight. You've got that right angle. And just let that glue do its thing. Okay. And then, again, I've got that piece now, which is going to stick with that same overhang on the end there, so get that one stuck down. Okay, so you can see now how it's all coming together. So with this bottom part here that's all overhanging, we're gonna stick it together just like we did, oh, I keep hitting my lamp, just like we did with the base of the bureau. So I'm just gonna cut up all of those corners where you would have folded. Like so. And then you'll be able to fold them in like this. Okay, and then it's that inside part there that we will then stick this piece onto and it should slide in there perfectly. You want it to be nice and tight, see? Okay, but I think actually before we do that I think you should cover the sides because you can then have it go down slightly past the base so that you won't see you know, any grey board at all, but you, I just think you get a really nice finish and then all you've got to do is put a piece of paper on the bottom as we did with the bureau. So I'm just going to pop that back out. And I've got two pieces here 
that are four and a half by three and a half and they're going to stick in there and it's going to over you know it's going to stick slightly onto each side of your front and back you're going to bring it right down so it's nice and neat but then if you go in you're probably best folding it into shape first I'm just using my bone folder there push it right in you'll get a really nice crease doesn't matter if there's a little bit more on one side but as long as there's something but can you see how that's then going to go in see I've just folded it just pushed right in there like that with my bone folder okay and then what you can do you want it overhanging the bottom because it's going to form again that hinge kind of part but the top parts where you've got the fold because now I would say to actually really burnish it better with your bone folder like so and then just so you don't get anything kind of poking out the top, just take a little wedge just off the top pieces there. Okay, and then you can add glue onto the back of all of this and stick it inside. And then all we're going to do is just cut two, you know, easy just pieces just to stick over that and it'll cover these tabs. I'm just sliding that in there. We'll just come down just a little bit from the top there, okay? And just go in there again and just spread that all out and just make sure you get really nice right angles. And you can stick it right down onto the paper below here because then we're just once that's completely dry, we'll just fold it back up on itself. So it just will add you know a lot more strength to the bottom there as well. But you'll have something like that. So I've got a little bit more stuck on that side than I have there, but it, as long as there's something, because then what we'll do is we'll have the pattern paper exactly the width of this, so we'll just stick over that. And because we've cut in on an angle there, you won't get it poking up the top. Okay, but do that again on this end. So that's all done. Then I've got these two pieces. I know the direction's going a little bit funny here, but again, it's inside. But this is seven and three quarters by, you want it to be four really, um, again, but you'll see, how it looks if it's a little bit shorter, it's not going to affect anything. The reason why it's seven and three quarters is because it's going inside here, so you have to take off the width of your grey board. So please just measure inside. See, I've put my ruler inside that bit, and I can see it comes up bang on there, seven and three quarters. All right, so because again, yours might be just slightly different, but that's just going to slide in there and stick. And you want to line up the top of the paper with the top of this piece here. Okay, because you've cut it on a little angle, you won't see the join. But can you see that? It's all nice and neat. And that will just sit in there perfectly. And then just stick the other one. And the overhang will come down here. You see, mine's just slightly shorter than that piece. So as long as it is overhanging, because again, it's all part of that hinge. So I'm going to stick both of those down. Okay, so what you'll need to do now, if you hadn't done already, but you just need to go in and just cut back up those corners, because you'll have the... Those are... I'm not doing very well because I think I've got glue on them. Just cut back up into those just so we can fold everything in for the base to stick to. Okay, and then I'm going to fold in the sides like so. You might want to take a little bit off the corners there because you might get a bit of bulk because you've got the two lots of the cardstock or the paper. like so and then just fold that and then that can fold and fold they're all going to stick on top of each other I'm just going to add my glue just on the four corners of the side pieces and then I can just stick those over and if you just you can pop your you know fingers underneath there and just really secure that down turn it upside down you can just go in there and push that down with your bone folder and just make sure it's you know you've got nice right angles on everything you don't want it to be, it to be slightly wonky okay and then I'm going to add glue onto the top of all of these pieces okay and then grab your base and just slide that in like I said it will wedge in that's what you want it to be nice and tight push that right down again you can really push everything together and again just flip it over push all that down okay and we'll cover the bottom in a minute but just bring in your bureau 
and now that will sit perfectly inside. Okay, but mine isn't going right down to the bottom, mine is just going to sit up the top here. Okay, because we're going to have that crossover section and that's what this tray is going to sit on top. But it, it will come right up to this piece here so that it will allow you to be able to close it still. Um, I just think it's a really nice addition and it's great because you can take it out and obviously, you know, whatever you've got in there, you can keep on your desk at that time and, and so on. So for the bottom to cover that, you will just need a piece of paper. Again, I would do seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. Stick that one down on the base there. And you can again flip it over and just push down on all of that. So I'm going to pop that to one side and now we can start on the dividing sections. Okay, so now we're going to make this piece here, all right, to sit in the bottom of the bureau. Now, the way that I'm putting it together, you can, if you wanted to, have two pieces this length, I'll give it to you in a minute, cut up one of them, cut down the other one and slot them in. But because we're working with a grey board, I think a few people will find that quite difficult to do. Even I wouldn't get that lined up properly. And then you're going to have pattern paper over the top of it and getting that, I just, I don't know. Some of you will probably whiz through and want to do it that way, that's fine. The measurements I'm going to give you are what I'm doing for my one, but do try it first, okay? So this one here is bang on eight by three, okay? So this piece here, again, I'm gonna bring the bureau in, is gonna go down here. And can you see it just, it kind of sits in there itself. That's what you want. And you want it to be flush with the front of this piece here, okay? So check yours first of all, you know, get your ruler, measure in here from the very back there. And you can see mine is bang on eight. I'll just about see that there, all right? From the inside of this piece here. And then, like I said, that height, you want it to be three because then it will sit nicely with this. So if you want to have two pieces like that, measure again this side. You can see it kind of does hold itself in there. It's a little bit looser that way, but do check it first of all. So I'm going to be covering all of this, but what I want to do is I've got this piece here because I just want to cover the middle, okay? Because what you'll find is when we cover it all, you'll have a tiny bit of grey board just showing in the centre. So if you just put a little bit of whatever pattern paper it is that you're using, so I'm going to cover all of it around like so. So this is just a piece um, of one by six and a quarter, I think it is, because it's come off, yeah, six and a quarter. So I'm just going to pop some glue on this here. Make sure it's in the middle. So there's my halfway there, four inches. You can see that runs through. And it literally is just going to cover a, you know, a small area, but it could be really frustrating. I mean, you might want to put a little embellishment there if you didn't want to do this or something. There's ways around it, but um, I just find, just do this and it's, it's fine. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess. And you'll find that I've made everything a little bit longer with this, because I think it's easier to just trim off any overhang so you get a really nice finish and you get that pattern paper covering everything. So just spread that all out again, make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, then you're gonna have these two pieces here. And I think actually before we do that, get your bureau and get this piece and this piece. And we need to mark on this where we're gonna attach the crossover pieces. So pop this in, right way up like so, and pop your tray on, and you'll see that sits perfectly on there. You might just wanna have one divider like that, because you can just run some glue along the bottom of this, stick it in, put some glue along the sides, stick it in, just have two dividers there, and then the tray on the top, okay? If that's the case, then you'll wanna cover all of that, and um, you know, and then you're, you're done. But you can see where the tray sits, so you want it pushed right to the back here, all right? and. You know, don't worry if this isn't bang in the middle in terms of along this bit at the minute. But what you do want to do is with a pencil is just mark where the tray sits on here. So I'm just going to come down to the side and it's just about there. Okay, because what you don't want is a gap. You don't want to put the dividers, say, here and then you've got a gap here or they're too far under and this is overhanging into this section. So if you just put a pencil mark like so. I mean it is pretty much in the middle there so I'm happy with that. But then what we can do is you're going to have four pieces of pattern paper in the same print that you're using which are one and a half 
by three and these are going to become hinges which we're going to stick to these pieces here. So these again are three by just under four and the reason they're just under four is because they are going either side of this. So although it will almost, it will become eight, you know, in length, by the time you take out this depth that you've got here, or the width, sorry, however you want to say, of the grey board, that will then make it eight inches. So you need to cut these just under four inches, both of them, okay? With this here, you're going to add some glue, just covering, you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch of both sides. And this I just think is an easy way for everybody to be able to do it and you don't have to worry about, you know, cutting into the grey board and things like that. Mine's, why is the paper shorter than the... Uh, well, it doesn't matter because this is the hinge, actually. I'm not too worried about that because um, that will all get covered. So just sit them on both sides so they, you know, line up the same. So we're going to open these out and like I said that's our hinges and this is all going to be hidden. So that's those ones and then again the same on this one. Okay so you have two pieces like this and then you just want to make sure your glue's dry but just fold it both pieces over one side and then both pieces over the other and then just open it up and you will have a hinge and we can now stick that. But again by using the same pattern paper you're just getting rid of any signs of the grey board and um, again, that's not completely stuck, but I can just get away with it, like so, and again, open it up. Okay, and these are going to stick right on that pencil line, okay, on each of these. So, I'm going to, that one's still drying a little bit, so we'll go into this one, because this one is set. I'm just going to put my glue over both sides and along the grey board, because you've got a surface there as well. Okay, and then... Sit this one down on that pencil line and make sure it's nice and straight. It'll be a bit floppy for the minute until that glue really starts to set and just kind of tack it in place, let it kind of start to grab and then once it, you feel it really stiffening up you can come in with your bone folder and start pushing it in there but don't do it just, just yet because you might, you know, um, rip the paper. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second and again stick it down, just line it up with this one here Again, make sure you've got it dead straight. You won't be able to lie it down now because you've started to put it into its 3D shape. But yeah, just let that dry, I'm not gonna touch it. If you use your grid on your um, mat, I'm lining it up with that one there, I can just make sure I'm pretty happy with that and everything's straight. Put over as well, make sure they're all pushed together. You see if I bring it up there, you want it really pushed in tight. So just keep flipping it over as the glue's drying. Okay then I've got four pieces here that are six and a quarter by four. I've, okay and then I've started to stick them down so what I'm doing okay with one of the pieces come to one of the sides and just add glue. Do one side at a time. Like so. And then stick this down and make sure it runs nice and flush with the bottom okay so you don't see any of that grey board so that one's just there for a minute I'll come back to this one which I've done for which has already been done and had time to set so you see it's nice and flush there but you'll have an overhang here because I find that, again it's easier to trim that at the end but now you just want to stick the other side down so I'm going to put a little bit of glue along the top there and then cover this piece and again it will overhang but you can trim that. Just that way it means that you, you know you're guaranteed that you're going to cover your grey board. There's nothing worse getting this far and then finding that it's too short. And then I always like to get the top of that, just kind of work it around there and bring that down. You can see a little bit of the, where it's got a bit wet there but that dries clear so I'm not worried about that. But now once we go around and do that one, that tiny bit of paper we put in at the beginning will cover that center there so there's nothing worse like I said than just seeing a little bit of that gray board so this one just make sure that's all straight there we go so I'm just going to stick the rest of these down okay so this will now slot in here 
Okay, now if you do want to glue it, I would suggest that you just put a blob of glue right in the middle there and then just go in and stick it in place. Okay, if you do want to stick these bits, the ones where you added the hinges, when it's in here, I would suggest you put a pencil mark just kind of where they sit and then add the glue on, onto the actual bureau. Because if you put glue on the sides here and then go to put it in, you're gonna catch glue up here and on the backs here and it might end up ruining your project. But that will now slide in like so. Then the tray will sit perfectly on top and you'll see it lines up because we measured where to put them, okay? So you don't see what's inside, you know, the back pieces until you take the tray off, okay? And then I've got this piece here, which I've done off camera because it's just sticking just as we've been doing for the whole project. But this is a piece of grey board that's three and three quarters by two and five eighths. So it's slightly shorter than the height of the tray. Um, but do please measure the inside of your tray because mine is bang on three and three quarters. Yours might be a little bit shy of that, might be a little bit more. You need to cut that accordingly. But that now slides in. Again, you want it to kind of just, you know, touch the side so it can actually stand on its own. Okay, but with this one here, I've got my hot glue on. I'm just going to run some glue, just, and again, make sure the glue gun's been on for a good half an hour or so, so that glue will take a little bit longer to set, but now I can go in, just open the tray up a little bit, and I'm going to line this up with this piece here. It looks like it's off on camera because it's coming down at an angle, but if I bring it in, there we go, you can see it's bang on. And then if you do get any glue oozing out, you just go in with your bone folder and kind of like push it back, you know, into the sides there. You won't see it, and I'm gonna put stuff in there, but now I'm not worried about gluing it to the sides, it's there, it divides whatever it is, that I'm, well, the flowers that I'm gonna be putting in. But that's it done. That is the dividers. I really like it, it's just now, it can hold so much stuff. It's just got such a lovely look to it. Again, if you haven't seen this being made, do click on the links there. Um, um, I'll put some timestamps below in the description because if you do just want to make this part, then I will put the timestamp of where you need to fast forward to so you don't see any of the tray. But also, this tray is really handy to just have, you know, as maybe some storage on your desk. You know, you might want a, a little rubbish bin. You can just not have the divider and keep that there. You know, put all your scraps in and then throw it into the bin or something. So um, it's entirely up to you, your configurations and what you want to take from this and how you want it to work. But I am very, very pleased with this and I hope you've enjoyed it too. So thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and consider subscribing so you get to see, get to see more fun tutorials. See you soon. Bye.